Minister of Transportation Road Simi Amechi embarked on an inspection exercise of the Lagos Ibadan Railway Terminal over the weekend. Accompanied by the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, and other government officials, he also inspected the railway stations on the Lagos Ibadan route. Our correspondent, Debanke Odunui, has more details in this report. The journey started off at the Ebute Meta train station in Lagos, where the construction firm CCECC has its workstation site. We are on the way to Ibadan to inspect the construction work being done in the area. With the Minister of Transportation, Votimi Amechi, on board, the aim of the inspection was to assess the level of work done on the Lagos Ibadan Railway Terminal. He was joined by other officials, including the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, who, along with the Nigerian Railway Corporation boss, expressed thoughts on the work done so far. So when I got into the train this morning, especially this one, it's as clean, as modern, as any coach anywhere in the world. And I was also quite impressed with the passion of the Honorable Minister. You can see that at every point in time, he is pushing the contractors. Say, look, I can't wait till October. I'll come back in four weeks' time. Because we want to be able to deliver to Nigerians this kind of infrastructure. Uh, today we are on a, uh, a media train ride on the Ibadan Lagos train service with the, the zoo multiple unit that just arrived. We have the Minister of uh, Information and the Minister of Transportation on board to check and to at least bring up the level of uh, work after COVID or so that uh, we can encourage the contractor to come back to site. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Transportation Minister stated how the ministry was adhering to the COVID-19 guidelines while the work continued. For those of you who have been following us, you know that for every station, we had 150 to 200 workers. For now, you have 10, 20 workers. What we agree with them is to increase the number of workers and manage COVID very well. And what did we agree with them? They should come with their face mask, face shield, and come to work. Because like, we also agree with them, it appears, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, that COVID has come to stay. So let's hope that by January this, this thing will be ready. The Transportation Minister also gave information about the Ibadan Kano project and loan. So when we talked to the National Assembly to stop this their investigation of loan, not, they're not investigating corruption in construction, it's the issue of loan. What we meant is that they should please allow us get the loan for uh, Ibadan to Kano which is about $5.3 billion. Because if you're telling the man who lent you money that you don't like the way he lent you money, he won't lend you any further. That's the point. But for this one, we have $1.6 billion, for which we're contributing about between two and $300 million. But don't forget, they have not finished paying. They could stop at any time. On our journey to the Lagos Ibadan Terminal, we visited the uncompleted stations in Apapa, Kajola, Papalanto, and more. The work has gone quite far, but there is still more work to be done in helping Nigeria achieve the infrastructure of her dreams. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui.